So joining us now for an exclusive interview, Y Combinator CEO Gary Tan. Gary, I can't believe it's been a year. It's great to have you back on. And I do want to start with your reflection on those comments that you did make on the show a year ago. We talked so much about the impact that the demise of SVB had on banking, but it also impacted venture debt as well. Absolutely. I, I think that that's something that's a little bit ongoing that we're still worried about. Um, ultimately, first, I'm really concerned that an independent bank that was doing incredible work uh, is sort of getting gobbled up by bigger and bigger players. And then secondarily, for the startup venture market, especially for bio, I've heard uh, a lot of basically d difficulty with uh, startups that we're expecting to be able to have uh, a certain cash flow, a certain plan for their financial future, and uh, really SVB going down, put all of that on hold. And, um, you know, it, we're lucky last year we were in a moment where um, literally thousands of, you know, about 10,000 small businesses uh, possibly couldn't make payroll. We're going to furlough workers. And so we're lucky to sort of escape that. But we're still sort of a year later dealing with the fallout of consolidation. And uh, ultimately, you know, we're really hoping that uh, SVB under First Citizens does actually step up to the plate, uh, you know, builds again the venture debt relationships that support uh, both small business and startup innovation. So how does that speak to the funding landscape and, and this moment that we're in right now? And perhaps just as importantly, because to realize funding, you could argue you also need to be able to realize exit strategies. When you do have Reddit, for example, on an IPO roadshow about to become the, the largest tech IPO that we've had to date, how important is that too? I think, you know, Reddit is an incredible property. It is uh, just an incredible and very durable company. I can't tell you how often it is that when I want to find out about something going on in the world, whether it's news or a product, I'm literally typing in those keywords into Google, but then typing Reddit right afterwards. So I think having liquidity and, uh, you know, companies going public like Reddit, that's, uh, you know, really a boon for all of tech right now. And I, I'm really excited for, uh, you know, Steve and the team there. Gary, the SVB collapse also seemed to dramatically change the fintech landscape and, and some of these fintech startups that are quite large, uh, unicorns, et cetera. What kind of opportunities did you see open up because of that moment and because some of the startups and small businesses who, uh, who were focused on the fin side and not so much the flexibility of tech were now thinking about more flexibility and capability? Yeah, I mean, I guess one of the things that is a little bit more surprising to me, um, you know, with the increase in interest rates, you know, fintech was super hot during the zero interest rate years. And right now we're in a little bit of a lull. But, you know, I guess we're going to have to ask Jerome Powell, uh, you know, what is the, in the cards for fintech broadly? I think it's going to be back. And I think a lot of it is going to be driven by the ongoing uh sort of boom in artificial intelligence, which we think is incredibly durable. I mean, Anthropic, Claude 3 just got announced last week. That hit 103 IQ by the IQ measure. If you looked at OpenAI's GPT-4, you know, that was in the 70s or 80s. GPT-3.5 was in the 60s. So this is sort of a really powerful moment where the thinking computers literally are now just barely above average 103 IQ. And later this year, I fully expect uh, some of the cutting edge large language models will be able to reason at 120, 130, you know, clearly above average. And then perhaps in the coming years, genius level. So we're sort of at a very interesting inflection point moment for software embedding itself in all the aspects of society. And we're still trying to understand, well, what's next and what are those businesses? FinTech is certainly one, but I think you could look at the overall pie of GDP. And this wave is as big mm -hmm. as any of the other ones that came before, whether it's the internet, cloud, you know, the smartphones, you know, about 50 or 60 percent of our uh, 200 some companies in the current YC batch are building on AI and they're getting real revenue. Yeah. So the revolution is on.